Alana here with 630. Today we're going to go over how to safely mount and dismount a bicycle. All right, there are a couple of different ways to safely mount and dismount your bike. And what type of bike you have, what you're wearing, um, how the top tube is angled are all gonna play into how you mount your bike. So we'll start with the safest, easiest way method, and then we'll move on to more advanced methods to safely mount your bike. So before you get started, just for reference, I'm 5'1". So keep in mind that I'm pretty short, and if you're taller than me, um, it's probably gonna be a little easier for you to mount and dismount your bike. Um, but regardless of how you mount, and how tall you are, you wanna make sure that you engage your brakes when mounting. You don't want the bike to roll forward or backwards. You want it to stay in place to avoid any accidents. So just make sure to engage both brakes. And if you have an e-bike, make sure that it's turned off. Now from here, you have two options. You can leave the kickstand down, but if you're shorter, leaving Putting the kickstand up might be a little more helpful because it'll allow you to tilt the bike towards you, bringing the frame a little lower so it's easier to step through or swing your leg over the back if that's how you mount. So just to show you what that looks like, brakes are engaged, kickstand's up. Gonna tilt the bike a little for, toward myself. So I'm about two feet away from the bike frame. Now tilt it toward me, step through, and you wanna land just over your top tube. If you have a higher top tube, you might end up on your toes. Um, and then from here, brakes still engaged. You can slide back onto the seat and you've mounted your bike, you're ready to ride. Kickstand's already up. So that would be the safest, easiest to ride, but it does require a low top tube like this one. So this is a step through frame. It's the every journey and it's most recommended for any shorter riders or new riders, anyone who's not totally comfortable with their balance yet or um, just doesn't want to swing their leg over a super high tube. So let's dismount and I'll show you the second way. So the second way would be swinging your leg around the back. Obviously you don't want to do this if you're in a dress or a skirt. Um, and if you have the, the low step through frame, that's just gonna be easier, so you probably wouldn't do this. But just to show you how it looks, same thing, brakes engaged, tilt the bike toward you, swing your leg over, land in front of your seat, over the top tube, whether that's on your feet or toes, and then you can slide back onto your seat from there. Remembering to engage the brakes, that's the main thing you need to remember, engage the brakes the whole time um, to ensure safe mounting. All right, from here, you're just going to reverse those steps to dismount. So you always wanna make sure you've come to a complete stop before dismounting. Again, engaging the brakes. Um, and same thing, you can lean, put your weight over to one side so that the bike is a little tilted, um, making the top tube lower to the ground. And then with your weight on your left side or the side that you're dismounting from, just step through with your foot. So again, slide off of the seat, tilt, step through, or if you're swinging around the back, same thing, slide off of the seat, tilt the bike and swing your leg around. And that's it, it's pretty simple. If you're nervous about mounting or dismounting your bike, I would suggest trying it on your front lawn, going slowly, there's no rush, um, so just take it slow, get comfortable with it before you go out for a bike ride. And also, if you need a little more height or just, want to make it a little easier, you can roll up next to a, cur a curb, excuse me, um, and use that as a little stepping stool. So that will make it, if you're, if you're short like me, that'll make it easier to step through or lift your leg to mount the bike. So that is how to safely mount and dismount your bike. If you have any questions or any tips, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Hopefully that was helpful. Let us know how it works for you. Um, and let us know if there's any other tutorials tutorials that you want to see. Um, we'll do our best to get to them. Make sure to hit subscribe, help our channel grow, and stay up to date on all of our content, giveaways, how-tos. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride.